Hello, welcome to this demo of multi-force input. I've got the uh, real-time motion control system over here, version 2. It's currently powered over USB because my battery has died and uh, it's currently on the charger, so once that's fully charged we'll try that out. I've got um, four servos here. Each one has its own independent force sensor. They're running a common model, so if I touch one of the force sensors, we're going to we update everybody's position. We got a light spring. It's actually um, three quarters of a pound. I'm trying to make it move. Why is that not working? Oh, it's because I'm on the wrong side of the force sensor. There we go. We got a three quarter uh, pound spring on here. So if I push all the way down, that's three quarters of a pound. All the way up is three quarters of a pound. Right? And what this is useful for is if you've got, like, say, a telepresence robot or some kind of robot where you've got an end effector and you're remotely controlling it and you want to know how much force you're applying. You don't want to apply too much force, like you're picking up an egg or something, you could break it. So, what this does is, because they're all running the same model with a common uh, multi-force input, I can attach, like, this is two-tenths of a pound. I can put that on here, and now you can see the position is adjusted, and if I move it, I'm now picking up that two-tenths of a pound, and I can feel it is, on the servo here, much heavier. I'm definitely feeling that weight. Right? Yeah, and they're, they're moving a little bit because this guy's rocking, so let me stop it. Um, so that was two tenths of a pound, and of course you put more on there. So here's four tenths of a pound, so twice the weight. Definitely pulled the virtual spring down farther, the model spring. And now you can definitely feel that there's more weight on here. Definitely takes a lot more force to lift that weight, as you would expect. And then we can do the same thing to, uh, so here's a big three-quarter pound. This will max out the spring. Like I said, I only put a three-quarter, so I'm actually at the end of the end stop, right? So I'm completely maxed out. And then I can, I can come in here and I can lift it, and it's definitely heavy. You can see my finger turning white. Listing three quarters of a pound. So let me take that off so we don't hurt anything. But yeah, that's uh, that is the gist of the uh, multiple force input. So you can definitely feel how much force you're applying at the end. And you might have like two of these boards running networked together over CAN bus or something, and you could have this all local and then have a whole other set out, you know, at your remote place, and you could feel how much force you're actually applying to things. That way, so it's very simple, very easy to set up, very easy to use, and that's it. And uh, just to prove all the computation is being done on here, I will, I will grab that battery off the charger. Ta-da! And we'll go ahead and hook it up. I've got to unplug the uh, USB, and then the power jumper here. I need to flip. Or I need to remove to tell it I'm not going to power over USB, I'm going to power over this. And then if I plug that in, now we're running, so no USB, right? Unplugged completely. I just got the battery pack, you can see that. And see, everybody's still working. Doing exactly the same thing. And when I put the weight back on, you can still see Still working. So yeah, everything's done locally, all real time in there. Hence the name, real time motion control system. Anyways, uh, that's it for this demo. And uh, I like how this just moves because it's. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching.